In this video we're going to be learning how to create a tour poster for our favourite musical artist. Much like the one you can see on your screen right now for Avril Lavigne. Um, we are going to pretend that our favourite artist is touring through Caloundra and our job is to make a poster to promote that gig. So let's head over to Fireworks and get started on this. We will begin today with a new Fireworks document that's 21 centimetres width, 29.7 centimetres height and 72 pixels per inch for the resolution. Our canvas colour is going to be white. Remember to go to the view menu and choose fit all so you can see your A4 page. And we'll begin today by grabbing our rectangle tool, choosing any old colour, make sure you've got no border or stroke, and we're just going to draw on a rectangle across our page. Now this is going to be the background colour for our poster. A solid fill colour is okay. If you want to use that, that's fine, but I think you can get a little bit more fancy than that and possibly use a gradient fill or a pattern fill. Okay, I'm going to go with a gradient for this one. And because it's Taylor Swift, I know she likes a bit of red, so I'm going to go with a black and red colour scheme for mine. Remember, you can change all these different gradient fills through here. I'm going to leave mine as linear, though. If I wanted to, I could move that around as well a little bit. I might just put it on the side a bit for something a bit different. Now once we've got that in, we need to find a picture of Taylor Swift, I reckon. So pop over to the internet, go onto Google Images, find a picture of your favourite musical artist. Make sure it is a big picture like this one that fills pretty much the entire length of the web browser. As you can see, a nice high quality picture like this will fit perfectly into a poster. If you've got a really small picture, like a thumbnail size, it's not going to work. It's going to be too pixelated and too blurry and will look pretty dodgy on your poster. So get a nice big picture for this. When you found your picture, make sure you copy the image, head back to Fireworks, make a new document up. Remember Fireworks knows the size of the copied image, so just click OK and paste it in by pressing Ctrl V. Our job here is to cut your artist out of this picture and put it onto your tour poster. So I'm going to use the Polygon Lasso tool from my toolbox and I'm going to start cutting out Taylor Swift. Okay, I'll start here at a waist. And I won't do the neatest job. I want you to take your time when you do yours, otherwise you'll end up with a dodgy looking cutout. And just carefully click, click, click all the way around the body. So click, 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 click. Around we go. This little gap in here between her knees and thighs, we can come back to that later once it's on our poster and just remove that little bit of space there. That won't take long, I'll show you how to do that later. Nearly there. Remember, you can cut off any stray bits of hair, we don't need to see them in the final product. Click, click, click. Let me go back to the start. You can double click or just click back on the starting point and you'll get the marching ants. That will appear around your selection. Okay, don't forget to go up to the select menu and choose feather. Just feather those, those edges to about one or two pixels in size. That way it smooths out the two pixels or one pixel around your cutout and it doesn't look quite as jagged. Then you're ready to copy your artist and go and paste it into your tour poster. Now, I'm pretty lucky here, she almost fits perfectly under this. Because it looks like she's missing one arm, I might put her over to one side. Try and cover most of that up. If I wanted to, I could make her a little bit smaller to make her completely fit on the page. Like so. That doesn't look too bad at all. And this gap that we we're talking about between the legs here, we can chop that out. Just grab your lasso tool again. And we're going to click around here. Simply press delete and that removes it. If you want to get rid of these marching ants, you just go to select and deselect. And that's got rid of it. If you want to be fussy, you could get between the knees there and do the knees as well. Okay, it's a bit of a dodgy job, but you get the idea now. Okay, we might have to move that a little bit later on. 
Okay, next thing we need to do is probably put a few more things in the background here before we put some text on top, just to make it a bit more exciting. You have a few options, you could grab your paintbrush here. I usually like the unnatural or the random brushes, find something that looks cool. I'll go random today, choose some squares. I'm going to make them nice and big. Oh, I might choose it just a light colour and scatter a few of them across the page. Now I do want Taylor's body in front of those squares, so I'm going to have to move those squares from my layers panel down below the picture of Taylor. Okay, so you can see her in front now. And also on those squares, I might just change the opacity down a bit, about halfway to 50%. That way they don't stand out as much. Actually, I might even go half of that again, 25. Okay, just a little something in the background to break it up. I think it looks good. Um, next thing we might do is grab our text tool, let's put the name of our artist in, which is obviously Taylor Swift. We want the name of the artist pretty big. This is the most important piece of information on our page, so it does need to be the biggest. I like that font, so I'll stick with that. Colour, ooh, it's a bit iffy, it's not too bad. I wonder if there's a better colour we could pick. She is a girl, so we could go a girly colour. Be a white with a glow around it will work well. That doesn't look too bad at all. White text with a bit of a red glow. It kind of suits the theme we're working with here. Okay, so that's our first bit of text. Next one, we'll probably want to put in the price of the tickets. So let's say about $85 for a ticket. I'm going to click a bit lower. Let's put in the date. Let's say the 8th of July. We probably want to put in a, a venue. Let's say Calandra Harcel. And we probably want to put in the date, uh, not the date, the times. Let's go 8 pm to 10 pm. So that's all the information we need. Now, this text shouldn't be as big as the heading. Okay, that's the most important thing on the page, as is the photo. So they should be the two biggest things on the page. The rest of this text can be made a bit smaller now doesn't need to be as big. So clown dryer cell down there, I'll throw that there, that there, it's spaced out pretty nicely. If you want, you can click on some text and grab the scale tool and give it a bit of a rotate just by clicking off the edges and dragging. I think a bit of rotated text looks kind of cool. Rotate that the other way. There we go. Now it's a bit boring still because all this text is exactly the same. So how about you change it up with some different glow colours? Maybe a yellow. Oh, that doesn't look very good. We'll go a dark colour. I'll just keep throwing in a few different glows. Okay, so that's looking pretty good there now. I still think it could use a little bit more um, excitement over this side. So some other things you do is grab your shapes, maybe a little star, put one in there. Let's give it a gradient, maybe change it to a radial this time, oh, let's try and get fancy, how about a cone one, instead of black and white, choose some colours that work well together, blue and pink usually work well together, you can rotate it, you can make it bigger and smaller, change the opacity a bit, if you want to copy and paste a few of those around by pressing Control C and Control V, you can maybe resize them, give them a bit of a move. Okay, if you want, you could also grab the pen tool. And with the pen tool, you want no fill color. You want a white stroke color that's size one with Pixel Soft Brush, and you can just run some bendy lines through the document. Okay, so there's one, I'll just grab my black arrow and click on that and I'll put a glow around it. 
by putting a glow you make it down to size one and I'll just choose any old color that might look good it is going in front of Taylor so remember grab that path drag it down put it behind her kind of looks cool I might copy and paste that path I can have a second one in there and just change the color of the glow to something else maybe a yellow if I want I could rotate that a bit to make it a bit different and that's looking kind of cool so it's about all that it takes to make yourself a pretty cool tour poster I'm sure you could um, click on some of these shapes and you could play around with some of these chrome styles and things like that to get different effects they would look really good as well play around with the different filters plenty there to pick from if you want you could click, even click on Taylor and put a little bit of a glow around her red doesn't look too good so maybe just change it make it small Okay, there's a white glow around Taylor now kind of looks cool but have a play see what you can come up with make sure you get all the required information in there remember nice big text we want to be able to read this poster from a distance and use plenty of good colors we want it to attract attention so lots of bright colors are going to work for this one when you're done just go to file save as and make sure it's a JPEG okay. and we're done